Our neighbor has a Hychea persimmon tree and they gave us some to hang and dry, which they do. They told us how to do it. I was just really excited because I love the way they taste. They gave us a sample of the finished product after they were dried and compressed properly. Now on my channel I have this rack that I use for arranging clothes for the week. So I used that. I didn't have anything else. They have so many persimmons that they have a rack that's really long. It's got a metal pole and it holds a bunch. So I kind of got started with this. The one thing that I did to modify what they taught us was to add this cheesecloth. There's a couple reasons for that. We don't have a lot of flies in the house, but we do have fruit flies, and if a fly did come in, this will keep fruit flies and other flies and bugs off the persimmons as they dry. The persimmons are full of water, and they do take a while. If you watch the other videos, you know you have to watch them and hang them and compress them from time to time as they dry to get the density of the um, persimmon flesh real tight and so you kind of got to keep them hanging this way for a while. Another reason is to keep dust off. They had so many that I was thinking wow I mean they're hanging out here for a long long time everything gets dusty so I just kind of wanted to avoid that. The cheesecloth is kind of a pain in the butt to acquire. I ended up getting some at I think like Walmart. Maybe it's just me but I thought it was kind of expensive. It was like four bucks for just this little bit. You could probably do better online somewhere else and get a lot more. If you're going to hang a bunch of persimmons, I would say get it online somewhere so you can get many more yards than they sell at Walmart. Another thing that I did to modify what they were doing was that, oh, by the way, you'll notice that I have some Fuyus here that we buy our persimmons at and we buy the fuyus which are ready to eat right away. Now you can eat the hychias. A lot of people just use them for baking but the truth is that when they're really super red and squishy that they taste delicious. The fuyus though when they're orange, bright orange, you can eat them. The thing that I'm bringing to your attention right here though is that you'll notice that when we picked the persimmons we cut the stem so that there was a little nub of the stem on top of the persimmons to tie the string to. Now that didn't work every single time, but for the most part when we were cutting them we were very careful to uh, leave this little bit of stem here to tie the string on. When you get them at the store, and if you're buying hychias or fuyus, they cut them right off at the top, so you don't really have anything to tie the string to. Our neighbors had some of these where they were picking them and the, um, the stem just came off. So they were using kebab or um, pate scores and they just ran them through here which seemed to work. I was a little nervous that they might slip out over time but they didn't have any issues with that. I came home, didn't have any skewers so I had some to-go food quality chopsticks and I cut them into sections and I'll show you a little video at the end of this about how I kind of formed a little knife tip at the you know end of the sections I think I got like three of these little guys out of one chopstick and then I just kind of hacked a little notch around the circumference of the chopstick to hold the string which I thought was really good idea and they work so give it a shot. I mean if you're gonna hang and dry persimmons it's a really worthwhile thing to do. Um, just make sure that if you have to buy them don't buy the persimmons too ripe. They need to be right on the cusp of being ripe. They should be very firm and pretty much kind of a light green before they start to turn orange. So just make sure when you're picking them out that they're not soft at the they're very firm, like they're not ripe yet. Instead, at our store, they got a bunch of these in early, and they were still firm and not ripe at all. For the most part, you're not going to be able to hang and dry these because they're going to be too squishy and wet.
if you buy them at the store and they're already ripe. So we just happened to get lucky this year and the crop came in and they weren't ready. So we took advantage of that and bought some and gave it a try. I'm not sure how they'll turn out, but hopefully they'll turn out just as good as the high chia ones. Just be prepared that you have a nice long rack. After you peel them, um, make sure that you let them dry for a little bit before you put the cheesecloth over them. So when you peel them, you don't want the cheesecloth to stick to the persimmon. So let them dry and skin over just a little bit. I think I waited a day and there was a nice skin. Otherwise, the damp, sticky surface of the persimmon will stick to the cheesecloth to me. So just kind of let them chill out for a little bit. Hopefully you won't have any flies or issues like that in that short period of time. But after a day or so, just drape your cheesecloth over it. So this is the way I modified the chopsticks. These are just the regular takeout chopsticks. You can get a bag of the saute skewers anywhere. They're cheap and there's a lot of them there. So I just had these around and didn't want to leave and go buy skewers that I didn't have any. So I just got some takeout chopsticks and I cut a uh, blade tip to one side to poke when poking it in and there's just a little notch around the um, circumference 